This sentence would be a reason for resignation usually. Let the debt pile up by the thousands. Boris Johnson is said to have said during the discussion about a new lockdown, lockdown exactly that sentence. But how credible are ex-advisor Dominic Cummings' allegations? The pressure on the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is growing. He has to take a stand on the numerous allegations of his former chief advisor Dominic Cummings. After the renovation of his apartment in Downing Street, financed by private donations, which was initially the focus, a quote that was perceived as cynical made the rounds on Monday. If that statement had really been so, the Prime Minister would have to resign, wrote TV presenter Piers Morgan and posted um, on the front page of the Daily Mail on which the alleged quote from Johnson was the headline. No more fucking lockdowns. Let the bodies pile high in their thousands. Have said unwanted second lockdown. Ultimately, however, this lockdown came. In October 2020, Johnson announced that the UK would have to close shops and restaurants again for four weeks from November 5th. Schools and universities, however, remained open. The alleged statement was apparently once again scattered by former consultant Dominic Cummings, who was, de uh, well, kind of divorced in the dispute, reports the Daily Mail. In a first statement, Downing Street denied the facts. The quote was not like that. Everything would just be another lie of the former close employee of the Premier, as reported by Sky News, among other things. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace also jumped on Johnson. That this quote had ever been used has meanwhile been denied by practically every one of those involved. The Daily Mail, meanwhile, followed up and quoted a confidant of the ex-consultant with a statement that Cummings had secretly made audio documents. Ultimately, however, this lockdown came, as I said, in October 2020. Johnson announced that the UK would have to close shops and restaurants again for four weeks from November 5th, as I said. Schools and university, however, did remain open. So there was... Yeah, how do, do I say this? Um, found a mixture or something like this. And uh, Dominic Cummings, well, I, I think he's able to do a lot of things. It's very possible that that is a lie. But on the other hand, I totally trust him to make, without any permission from anyone, audio um, recordings of um, speeches, of talks of, with, with other people in, in, in private. So that's not far off what I can imagine that happened. And uh, the Daily Mail, meanwhile, as I said, followed up that the consultant um, already said that he made secretly audio documents and that would be a real blow for Johnson. And Cummings had already attacked Johnson violently in a post on his website on Friday. Among other things, he reported extensively on the British Prime Minister's plan to raise private donors for the renovation of his apartment on Downing Street. At the time, he refused to help Johnson with these plans, telling him that they were unethical, foolish, and possibly illegal, wrote Cummings. Although Cummings being against unethical, I don't know. He also accused Johnson of having blocked an internal investigation into a leak in connection with corona measures because the person responsible was a close friend of his fiancée, Carrie Simmons. The allegations could have consequences for the Prime Minister. Labour MP Jess Phillips confirmed her party's plans on Sunday in the Sky News uh, or on the Sky News broadcaster to put up an, an urgency request on the allegations in Parliament next week. Johnson's Secretary of Commerce, Liz Truss, stood up for her party colleague. She had been assured that all rules had been fully observed in all cases. The allegations are goss gossip, she says, which distracts from the important issues that interest the British, she told the broadcaster also on Sunday. Johnson's office also denied the allegations, stating that all reportable donations would be transparently disclosed. In addition, the Prime Minister never interfered in an investigation into leaks in the government. In a written statement to Parliament, a government representative assured on Friday 
that Johnson had borne the renovation costs out of pocket. It remained open whether he might have repaid donations. The background to this is confidential text messages from Johnson, which, among other things, concern a request from entrepreneur James Dyson for tax breaks if he takes part in the production of ventilators in Great Britain. I made a video on that one. After weeks of report of potentially inappropriate influence from other government officials, concerns are growing that the allegations could seriously damage Johnson's current popularity. Cummings' allegations dominated the front pages of newspapers over the weekend before the latest leak. Some conservatives also joined the criticism. Former Attorney General and longtime opponent of the Prime Minister, Dominic Grieve, accused Johnson of being a vacuum of integrity. The Electoral Commission, which regulates donations to political parties and their expenses, has meanwhile confirmed that it is investigating the matter. Cummings left his post as Johnson's chief advisor last December. He is considered one of the architects of Johnson's 2016 Brexit campaign and was largely responsible for Johnson's overwhelming election victory in December 2019. At the same time, however, Cummings repeatedly caused controversy with his confrontational style of politics. According to media reports, there should have been considerable disputes over the role of the advisor in the cabinet. With this all-round blow against Johnson, Cummings now fought against reports in the media that he was behind the transmission of Johnson's cell phone chats. It is sad to see how deeply the Prime Minister and his office fall below the standards of competence and integrity in the country, uh, or the integrity of the country diverse, deserves road comings on his block. I, I, I was really babbling there for a second because, honestly, Cummings talking about standards of competence and integrity. Who can stay serious and get a proper sentence out? Sorry, but that sentence really is a joke coming from Cummings. I'm not a fan of Johnson, and you all know this, but oh boy. But according to a report in the Sunday Times, Johnson may have personally informed the newspaper editors about Cummings as a leak. Apparently, he disregarded his advisors who had warned him against this suicidal step. And this is what we call a mud battle in German. Um, we usually see in front of election campaigns more often than, than in the meantime. But I'm quite sure that this will feed the tabloids for quite some time. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.